program. Ako po si G. Tanji and welcome back to Kababayan Today. One of Los Angeles's flourishing Phil Ann singers, si Angel Bonilla, is set to represent the Philippines for the upcoming 25th year of Discovery International Song Competition happening in Varna, Bulgaria, where she has been chosen as one of the 15 finalists of the 57 entries from around the world. Angel's competitive journey included passing the challenges at the current popular TV show X Factor, where she was able to experience the rigorous training up until the boot camp. Ayan, kasama natin here on our show, Angel Vanilla. Hi, Hi, Angel. Hello. Ano, paalis ka na? Yes. Ano, excited ka ba? I'm really excited and at the same time nervous. Oh, so pag-usapan natin, paano mo nalaman na may competition doon? At uh, what did you send them para naman mapili ka bilang finalist? Uh, it's because of Tito Venice Saturno. Okay, syempre kilala natin <laughs> si Venice Saturno, di ba? Venice Saturno is a very... Uh, Respected, um, very respected, very successful uh, songwriter in the Philippines. Philippines yes. In fact, he also made some songs for me on my I album. Know, he mentioned that to me. Diba? <laughs> so uh, he was the one who told you about this competition. Ano yung pinadala mo sa kanila para mapili ka bilang well, finalist? Well, Tito Venny got the invitation, mm -hmm. and at the time, I was um, working um, uh, for a. Um, we're trying, uh, Tito Veni wants me to release a single in the Philippines mm -hmm. that um, he wrote for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was uh, put on hold because um, at that time I was doing, because I had the contracts with my gigs here mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. Oh, oh. And, kasi busy ka dito, di ba? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marami kang mga gigs. Pag-usapan natin, saan yung mga gigs mo here in LA? Um, I do sing in uh, West Hollywood clubs. Oh, oh. I like revolver clubs, um, Mickey's. Oh, oh. Pag nakikita ka ng mga Americano, Naiisip ba nila na Pilipina ka? Um, they, uh, you know, I always share it, um, uh, my story, every time I perform in Sofitel. Oh, in ano ba yung story mo, Angel? Kwento mo well, naman sa I amin. Well, I am, I'm actually um, half Filipino, half Filipina. <laughs> I'm a transgender. <laughs> okay, so half Filipina, half... half Filipino, half Filipina, because I haven't done the surgery yet. But... Okay, and when did you discover that this was who you were going to be? You know what, growing up, I, Saan ka ba lumaki? Sa Pilipinas? In the Philippines. Saan doon? Um, Kabuyo, Laguna. Oy, alam ko yung Kabuyo. Mm -hmm. Oo naman. Okay, so doon ka lumaki. Kailan ka dumating dito sa Amerika? Dumating ako dito when I was um, 16 years old. Oh. But my father is based here. Okay. Um, he's been working here for um, almost 27 years. Okay, so when you came here at the age of 16, um, what made you decide that you really wanted to identify as a woman? Um, you know, ever since, you know, even back in the Philippines, mm. that's um, that's um, what I felt growing up. Pero syempre, dahil nasa society tayo yes. na hindi ina-encourage yun, mm -hmm. syempre mahirap, di ba? It's very difficult because I'm my dad's, uh, you know, I'm the eldest. Um, and then, um, you know, my dad is expecting a lot from me, uh -oh. and I don't really want to disappoint him. But thank God, because he accepted he accepted me for being who I am and for what I am. So okay, that's very I'm important, de ba? That. Kailangan uh, supportado ng pamilya mm -hmm. kung sino sino ka, de ba? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that here in America it's easier to become who you really are as opposed to being in the Philippines, Angel? Um. I think it's the same in the Philippines and here. Mm. It's it's still the same because until now there's still some issues about transgender going on. You know, like there's so many transgenders that getting murdered, and that's why you know I'm trying my best to um, work hard and show them what I've got because you know I I want to remove some misconception about transgenders. You know, um, um that's why I'm very proud of being who I am. You know. It's so funny because I actually, most of the people that I entertain in Sofitel are Republican. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is so funny, but you know, they they really don't, you know, mind about me being transgender because they see the talent, Absolutely. you know, when I sing to them. And it's a great thing because, you know, um, in that small way, I can change some, you oh, know, some, some stereotypes. Stere yeah, stereotypes. Diba? Kasi uh, yung pakita mo sa kanila, ibang-iba sa mga nababasa nila mm -hmm. o yung mga naiisip nila of what a transgender is, 
Angel, I salute you for being Thank so you. open about you. who you are to the world. We celebrate that and Thank we you. celebrate you. Thank you. Uh, we can't wait for you to come back from Bulgaria and tell us about your experience there. Manalo, matalo, umabot ka pa rin doon. <laughs> diba? Okay, so pag-usapan natin, anong balak mo pagdating mo doon? Anong kakantahin mo? Um, I actually um, did... Um, I produced my own song, which mm -hmm. is the fast song, electronic, you know, dance club song. But um, I can't perform it because, you know, because of the contract of thing. Of course. But also, uh, because there's two categories in the competition, there's also two big, two, two big winners, mm -hmm. which is the best vocal and the best song. In best vocal, you can sing cover songs, which um, I chose to sing. I'm actually going to sing it today. I chose to sing um, Amy Winehouse, Valerie. But I did um, a very unique um, arrangement on it to it um, it sounds really different okay so, so abangan niyo po yan here on kababayan today because she will render us her version of valerie of amy winehouses magbabalik kami